In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve motion word problems with integrals. This is question one in the series. The question reads, a particle moves with a constant acceleration of four meters per second squared. It has an initial velocity of six meters per second and an initial displacement of two meters. Find the equations for velocity and displacement and then graph the displacement, velocity, and acceleration for time is equal to zero to time is equal to 10 seconds. We are given the acceleration. And the acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity with respect to time, dv over dt. And that is equal to four. I'm going to start by taking the integral of four. So the integral of four dt is equal to the velocity. Taking the integral of a constant is very easy. In fact, I can pull out this four outside of the integral. This leads me to four times the integral of dt is simply t. So v is equal to four times t plus our constant c, which we don't know. One interesting feature about this question is that they tell us the velocity and it's six meters per second. So we can actually find the constant by substituting six meters per second into v and solving for c. v is equal to six, and this is happening at an initial velocity, so time is equal to zero. Six is equal to four times zero plus c. Therefore, c is equal to six, the velocity equation, therefore, is v is equal to 4t plus 6. Next, I need to find the displacement equation, and I can do that by taking the integral of the following equation. Displacement will be shown as the letter s. s is equal to the integral of 4t plus 6 dt. I'll take the integral of each of these terms individually. The integral of 4t and I'll do my work over here, 4t becomes 4t squared over two, that reduces down to t squared over two, t squared over two, and the integral of six is simply 6t, 6t plus c. Once again, according to the question, we're told that the initial displacement is two meters, so I can solve for c when t is equal to zero. S is equal to two, our initial displacement. T is equal to zero. This gives me the following. Two is equal to zero to the power of two divided by two. That becomes zero. Six times zero is also zero, plus C. Therefore, our constant here is two. Giving us a final equation of S is equal to T to the power of two over two, plus six T plus Two. I'm going to highlight the two featured equations. And now to check our work, let's take a look at the three equations. Our first equation is when acceleration is four meters per second squared, and it's shown as a straight line. Our second equation, v is equal to four t plus six, is obviously a linear equation. Take a look. t represents our slope here, six represents our y-intercept. And finally, for our displacement equation, we have the following graph where the quadratic opens upwards between zero and 10. And so there you have it. That is how to solve a motion word problem with integrals.